All right, welcome everybody. My name is Ian Jennings. I'm the founder of Test Driver AI, and today we're going to teach AI to gamble. Um, on the right here, we have a slot machine game, and I'll open up my terminal and we'll just get started. So, Test Driver is a desktop AI QA agent. It works through a CLI app, and what we did was we ran npm install test driver AI.g. I made a new directory called Mutagens, that's the name of this game here, this slot machine game, and we will just run test driver AI in it. And this will set up our project. So we will enable notifications, we will minimize the terminal app, we will include text-to-speech, and we will send analytics. And that will kind of bootstrap our little uh, application here, a little test environment. And so then we can see that we've created a test driver directory environment file where those uh, options were saved and GitHub directory. And this will include GitHub workflows that will um, help us deploy this. So let's get started. We'll run test driver AI and this will bring up the agent. So this agent can see the computer um, and it will actually move the mouse, uh, type on the keyboard, look at what's on the screen, stuff like that. The first thing we're gonna need to do is have this, um, see, click press anywhere to continue. So we're gonna need to get into the game itself. So what I'll do is I'll say, um, focus Google Chrome and uh, click on mutagens. Thank you. you can see that my terminal minimized and the new terminal um, showed up there on the right side. That's a special terminal that uh, the AI can't see, but allows you to see the output of the AI. You can see there it found the text and that booted the game. So it focused Chrome, it hit the text, and now we are uh, within this slot machine game. Now it'll go and validate uh, that the that worked, right? So it's gonna take a screenshot from before, a screenshot now, and make sure that um, it worked. It says, okay, it worked, and now it's given us back our original terminal. So we've got a little test here. If I exit out, you can see we've got this test script, which focuses Chrome, and then hovers the mutagens game. So let's get going here and we'll continue on our test. Oh, the, the point of that is, is we can run that back now and the AI won't have to think or check. It'll essentially just run those commands back. What we're doing now is called exploratory test generation. And when you run it back, we call that a regression. We run test driver. This will, um, you can see it loads that script into memory and we can continue working on it. So. The first thing we'll do is let's assert that a, a slot machine game appears. Because we want to make sure the game loaded, right? So maybe we clicked on the text, but um, the game didn't load. So let's assert the slot machine game appears on screen. Okay, it actually added its own little um, spice there. It said make sure the game muted, the word mutagens appears on there. Um, the AI says, oh, the task passed, it totally worked. I can tell because it appears with the mutagens logo, so we're good to go. And let's see, I have actually not played this game before. So we'll click on this, we got some rules. We have the sound. I don't know what that is. Electric icon, that's probably like an a bet. Okay, can I change the bet? Yes, okay. Golden bet and a shop icon where I can get, looks like I can buy some spins. For now, let's just make sure the slot works. So what I'll do is um, ask it to, uh, let's see. I'll also just click on that refresh icon, right? So how about we say, uh, click on the refresh icon. Icon to spin. I'll just click on the refresh icon. Now, um, it may get confused here and click on the refresh icon within the browser. But see, it actually knows the context of the previous um, commands. And it uh, will choose, hopefully, to click on that free refresh icon. You can tell here by the, RN, by the yellow uh, highlights that, OK, it's actually being detected as two images. But still, it may choose the correct one, knowing that that one is within the context of the game. So let's see what happens. Let's 
trying to choose an image to click. There it goes. So it actually, so it used the context of the, um, it used the context of which icon is in the game rather than the one that also appears within the browser to decide that that was the right icon. So I clicked it, said, um, it show, the screenshots show a change in the slot machine game. So it actually compares the previous screenshot to the newest one, and that, that's how it knows that it worked. It can see that the screenshots have changed between games. Okay, so um, now let's do, let's do something similar. Like we can uh, make sure that the balance is above zero. So the assert uh, the balance. The game balance is more than zero. And that should be pretty obvious given that the balance in the bottom left is um, 999,000. It goes, okay, the game balance is 999,600, which is more than zero. Let's see what we can do here. Let's maybe change the bet. So um, what I'll do is I'll say, click on the bet. And what are the options here? And change it to 5,000. How about that? Click on the bet and change it to 5,000. So this will probably come up with multiple commands where it will, yeah, see, it's going to infer Okay, I'm gonna click on the bet, then I'm gonna click on 5,000. So there it goes. And now um, you can slightly see that 5,000 there. Oh, it's typing 5,000. Okay, so here we go, it's gonna make a mistake. Typing won't work. But the AI will actually recover from this. So ideally it'll see that the bet has not changed to 5,000. Again, in this check command, and it will um, issue a new command. Upon, oh, it actually, it thinks it worked. It's because the option 5,000 is visible that it believes it works. So, okay, in this case, you go, okay, the AI didn't figure it out. Let's undo. What that will do is it actually just deleted that last command, and we can say click on 5,000. Now, given the AI thought that it worked, um, oh, sorry, given the AI validated that it didn't work, let's say it didn't think that happened, it would actually have undone itself and tried something else. Okay. So there it goes, change to 5,000. Again, it will validate itself, make sure that it worked. Okay, cool. So then let's um, click the refresh icon again. Now, you might notice, why am I calling it a refresh icon and not the spin icon? And the, and the reason is, is the AI doesn't know that it's a spin icon, right? It knows common paradigms, like refresh, right? So typically we see that when people are prompting our AI, they're kind of assuming it knows the con like too much context, right? Whereas here, um, we, we can clearly see it's a refresh icon, which we know the AI is um, familiar with. So. Anytime you're prompting test driver, you want to use icon, like describe the icon, not the context that it's in. Now there's something, there's a little delay here and you go, okay, why is it delay? What happens is when there's multiple choices, the AI decides what to click, but if there's multiple choices, it will actually um, be given that the series of choices, um, to choose from. So it'll, it'll be like, okay, here's five images we think it is, but now which one do you think is the best? Of course, it starts out like that as well, but um, when it's narrowed down to just a few, it uses a different process, okay. So that worked as well. We've, we've, uh, we've spun the game a couple times. Let's do a couple things else. Um, random free spins. Maybe we can change, click on the hamburger icon and turn the sound off. How about that? 
Okay, so now let's um, click on the hamburger icon um, in the game. Okay. Now, if the AI is not able to find an icon, there's a backup. You can actually take a screenshot of the icon and um, it will essentially uh, use that as a fallback. So you can notice like something like the shop icon with the kind of the glistening going on, the, the orange shop icon. The AI is not detecting that using um, its edge detection algorithm. Oh, it determined that was a hamburger. That's interesting. Um, so you can use a manual screenshot. Again, here it kind of chose the wrong icon. I thought that was a hamburger. It's interesting. But let's have it undo, and we'll try to describe that icon a little better. No, oh, actually, see, okay, it, det it determined that wasn't the right icon. It says, okay, I didn't see anything happen. So, again, this is an example of it um, uh, validating itself and determining it was wrong. Okay, there it goes. So now it's got the right one. So that's an example of it recovering. Now, again, it'll validate and it'll see the difference that the uh, menu popped up. And it'll say, okay, cool. We did it. Okay, and then we'll turn the sound off. It's doing that check to compare the screenshots. All right, cool. So the visible menu confirms test completion. So let's um, uh, turn the sound off. So this is not a direct right click or whatever um, type or anything like that, but the AI will still again. So oh, it'll click on sound instead. Okay, that's wrong. So let's see if it'll click the off icon. We all know AI is not perfect every time, but really what matters is that it gets there eventually, right? And again, when these are run as regression tests, um, it will do the, the appropriate thing because it's already essentially been trained or cached. Okay. Sound still set to on. Okay, it doesn't appear to know that it can click the on. Let's try the same thing again. Let's see. Let's see how creative you are, test driver. Let's go. Okay, so it's been it's getting stuck here on um, clicking on sound. What we can do is cancel it. Um, we'll run test driver AI again. Undo, and we'll say um, click on the. Uh, turn the sound off. Did not work. So that was that was a um, a bet. Typically, well, yeah, typically it's better to say exactly what you want to. Like click on on. Um, sometimes it gets it right when you give it a higher level command, like turn the sound off. Okay, let's turn the sound off. Hover text sound, undo. Okay, so hamburger icon, and we'll say um, click on the on text next to next to sound. Okay, so now it's going to figure it out. That was easy. Boom. Okay. I will say let's wrap this up. We can leave the game, and then we'll run this all back as one test. Okay, so why don't we uh, click on leave game. Okay, oh, we got to, we want to quit the game. Let's see what validate does here. Because uh, we didn't actually, I guess we did click on it, but we didn't leave. So let's see what validate decides we do. Checking. It may decide to do an, an initial action, an additional action, or it may decide that this is successful. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, it did work. So let's say um, uh, click on yes to quit.
Let's see. There you go. Okay, quit the game. Cool. And now where are we? We are uh, back at the homepage. Cool. 